Hey Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading. I'm so excited to share this with you. This reading will cover October 1st, 2020, which is full moon in Aries and the period of time that will follow until the next full moon. So we're going to start Pisces with this first card, which is gentleness. Archangel Sandalphon says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. So this is is telling you about um, creating, setting some boundaries and enforcing some boundaries regarding your personal space. If you've been watching too many news or scrolling a lot of social media and it's been upsetting you and that's the first thing you do in the morning and the last thing you do before you go to bed and you're constantly feeling this anxiety and pressure and frustration and angst, then it's probably time to limit that exposure because what you're doing is you're sabotaging your own inner peace. You're allowing this kind of negative um, influence to deter you from your own vibrational alignment. And what I mean by this is when you wake up feeling productive, excited, you know, um, ready for new possibilities, and then you see something on social media that really upsets you, are you still feeling excited? Are you still feeling aligned? Probably not. And how long, how long and how much energy will it take for you to get back into the alignment? Probably a lot more than you would otherwise have, have to spend. So make sure you schedule these times when you get the exposure, such as watching TV, scrolling social media, allow certain periods of time throughout your day uh, when you do this. But when you are focused on manifesting, when you're focused on planning your day, when you're focused on trying to relax. Maybe there are some other activities that you can do instead, such as journaling, meditation, listening to nice relaxing music as this card would suggest, or maybe singing or playing a musical instrument or going outside, enjoying a nice long walk, playing with your pets, and something very therapeutic, but possibly something that doesn't involve uh, technology or constant news or notifications or things like that. And then finally, set boundaries with some of the people that might be either pressuring you or upsetting you or constantly kind of triggering you with their attitude or their abrasiveness. If you still love the person and they're your friend or your family member, but you just, you just feel so drained uh, by being around them, then simply love them from a distance, you know, if you're not able to spend time with a person, it doesn't mean that you don't love them. Sometimes it actually means that you do love them and that other than break a relationship up with them, you're just simply choosing to stay apart and love each other from the distance. So be very careful with the influences that you let in and the effect that they have on your emotional, mental and physical state. The next card we have for you, dear Pisces, is honor your feelings. Thank you, Haniel, again, uh, for uh, supporting me as I honor my emotions. So the reason I pointed to this other card is that we're having a similar theme here. Um, this is gentle people, gentle situations, being gentle with yourself. And this is honoring your emotions. So here we have this beautiful combination of setting some boundaries and then also processing your own feelings. So find some time to get to the bottom of the way that you feel, to understand what are the roots and origins of the feelings that you're experiencing? What are the things that are causing you to feel a certain way? And I recently had a wonderful conversation with a coach who suggested to me that when I have a negative emotion, it's really important to also journal it because it gives you a little bit of a distance between what you're feeling and yourself. And as you read it on paper, you're able to get a little bit more to the core, to the, to the bottom of what is causing it. Why do you feel this way? Ask yourself, I feel this. Okay, why do I feel this way? What is causing this? And then simply hold space for it. You don't have to change it. You don't have to pressure yourself. You don't have to make yourself feel different. You don't have to make the feeling go away. All you need to do is to simply acknowledge your emotions, to uh, try to understand them, to acknowledge them and to hold space for yourself to safely experience them, safely process them and safely let them, let them kind of course through you and out of you. Um, I want to add one more thing, Pisces, is that 
you really need to make sure that those people that are really specifically close in your life to you, that you share your emotions with, that they really have an appreciation for who you are and, you know, who you are uh, as a person and then who you are also as a being, an emotional being, a being that has needs, okay? Because if you're around some draining people that don't appreciate you, that tell you, you know, you're too emotional, you have too many feelings, yada, yada, that's not your people. And you shouldn't be letting them disturb your peace because being around someone like that enough can cause you to kind of emotionally shut down. And this card is saying set boundaries and process your emotions and make a safe space for yourself to process your feelings because no one can do this for you. But you also shouldn't be letting people that, that are not um, accepting of who you truly are in that close. And if you are, it's time to kind of set some boundaries with them. The final card for you is, I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So if you're dealing with any fears, if you're dealing with any emotional trauma, if you're dealing with any kind of, um, you know, trauma, PTSD from previous relationships or previous situations, whatever it is, I am asking you to join me in this prayer again. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. The teacher of love. We're on this journey here on this earth to learn how to love. Love ourselves, love each other, and love this universe. So, Pisces, I hope this reading serves you. I hope it really was useful to you and that you enjoyed it. If you like this format and you enjoy readings like this, please subscribe to my channel. I post these periodically every new and full moon, and I look forward to seeing you in my next reading. Before I jump off, I also want to tell you I created a separate video about full moon in Aries, which is happening now. So check it out. It should be popping up right about now. And it's going to tell you a little bit more about the unique energy of this moon, what it means and what it is all about so that you can harness that energy and use it to your advantage and for your healing. Now, finally, these decks that we've been using today, they are very beginner friendly. They're very easy to use. They're very very lovely and I have linked all three of them in the description to this video for your convenience if you're interested in developing your own intuitive practice or your own meditation practice so they are listed on Amazon and the links are in the description to this video below on the final note if you have any questions please leave me a comment comment I respond to all of the comments that I receive and I would love to have a conversation with you Thank you so much again for watching Pisces. I'm sending you love and compassion and encouragement and just know that you are so loved and that you're so special and so amazing and that the world is lucky to have you. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.